Intruder in the house! Intruder in the house! What do I do? What do I do? Whoever's out there, go away. Bad, bad things will happen to you if you don't leave. Chloe, it's me. Felix? I forgot about the alarm and the whole thing. murdering me with nature thing. Hang on, let me shut it off. How did that not wake my mom? She's a heavy sleeper. What time is it? 4.43 a.m. Why are you in my house at 4.43 a.m.? Grab the book of nature! Your training begins now. Wait, uh, let me let me do that again. Grab the book of nature! Your training begins now! Much better. This couldn't have waited until the sun came up? Your mother nature. You can make the sun come up whenever you want. That seems like a bad idea. And so does this. You're going to have to learn to control your powers. I'm not supposed to go around randomly using Mother Nature powers. I'm supposed to maintain the balance in the world. And do you know how to do that? Do you know how to be less condescending? Sorry. Oof! Point the flashlight this way. Why are we going to this pond again? Because you're going to freeze it. What am I? Princess Elsa? You caused a blizzard, right? Not on purpose. Just open the book and figure it out. Okay, chapter 11. Temperature and climate. Blah, blah, blah. Cold is the absence of heat to remove... Okay. Maybe don't skim over stuff. It's fine. I got this. Um, Defugo Caloris. Defugo Caloris. It's working. I can feel it getting colder. Concentrate. We should have brought jackets. Keep going. Defugo Caloris. You did it! The pond is frozen! And so is my nose. What are you doing? Testing it out. Solid ice. Nicely done, Nate. Nate? Short for Mother Nature. Not even a crack! Look at me! I'm skating! Woohoo! Chloris. What did you say? Nothing. Recoro Chloris. Wait, what are you- ah! You melted the ice. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Not funny, but not bad. Come on, next stop. My pants smell like pond muck and frog poop. <laughs> Think of it as being one with nature. So what's the next test? Mowing the soccer field behind the school? Mother nature can make things grow, right? I mean... Look at your grandma's garden. I guess, although it's not looking so good lately. Make me a tree. You want me to turn you into a tree? N- no, not make me into a tree. Uh, grow me a tree, right here. In the middle of the soccer field? Why not? I don't like soccer, do you? Never made sense to me. I mean, who decided you can't use your hands? Not Mother Nature, that's for sure. Open the book, Nature. Stop trying to make Nature happen. Pine. Huh? Pine tree. No, a uh, redwood. No, a mighty oak. <sighs> mighty oak coming up. Okay. Crisere arborous. Whoa. Nature in the house. Next. You're going to like this one. Okay, I'm going to help you hop down. Why did you make me put this blindfold on again? Because I wanted to surprise you. Here, take my hand. Jump down. <clears throat> Just tell me where we are. Not yet. We don't have much time. The sun is going to come up, and we have to be home before school. Fine. Are you taking me to the middle of a volcano or something? No, but that's a cool idea. I thought you were supposed to be the sidekick. How did you suddenly become the trainer? I mean, who died and made you... Oh. Right. Chloe, can I tell you something? Can I take off my blindfold? No, just keep walking. Fine. What is it? Your grandma. She came to me in a dream last night. She did? She told me to look out for you. 
to help you. She said I should be like your trainer, your watcher. Wow, I can't believe she... You're lying, aren't you? You totally made that up. I know I went too far with the watcher thing. Here, step over this. I'll help you down here. Okay, you can take off the blindfold. Finally, I... Where are we? Zoo girl, welcome to the zoo. The zoo, but... Cats follow you. So does the opossum. That giraffe came to see your grandma. Let's see what you can do. Do with what? Okay, exactly which part of the zoo are we in? Bear enclosure. Did... Did you say... Bear? It's coming this way! Better talk to him. Talk to him? What am I, Dr. Doolittle? Easy bear. Easy bear. This was a terrible idea. The book says nothing about talking to animals. Are you sure? Because you know I can't read it. Okay, this might have been a miscalculation. Ah! Run, Felix! Ah! Stop that! Stop scaring us! Our scene is prohibere! Oh. Okay. Hello, Mr. Bear. Nice to meet you. Nice teeth and claws you have. See? Old friends. You're actually kind of cute. Soft and... We have to go. What is it? I'm not sure. Something feels... off. I can't explain it. We need to get home. You want me to come in with you? We can head down to the office, check out what's happening around the world. Thanks, but you need to get ready for school. And I probably need to wake up my mom. I have no idea what time she came home last night after her date with Duncan Sunshine. Oof. Good luck with that. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Felix? Thanks. You got it, Nate. <laughs> That's hilarious. Your job is so exciting. Mom? Oh. Chloe, did we wake you? We? Uh, good morning, Chloe. What are you doing here? Having delicious, fresh brewed coffee. Cool Beans is a sponsor, so I always have some in the car. Uh, Duncan was just dropping me off. You were out all night with him? <sighs> Ease up, Mom. He took me to the news station. He even let me work the weather map. How wonderful for you. Oh, your mother is a special woman, Chloe. I see a bright future for us. And that means getting to know you better, too. Hmm, that's my phone. I didn't hear anything. Ah, uh, it's on silent. Something wrong? Ah, uh, oh, only if you live in the southern hemisphere. Oh, the weather these days. What is it? Well, it seems that an unexpected deep freeze hit all of South America this morning. They stand to lose their entire season of crops. Deep freeze? Ah, and don't get me started on the number of catastrophic tropical storms that have been forming in just this last week. That sounds awful. Oh, it's a dangerous world out there, Chloe. You're lucky to have someone like your mother looking out for you. I'm sorry, Laurel. I need to get to work right away. Mother Nature never rests. Of course. Chloe, where are you going? Don't be rude. I have to go to, uh, to the laundry room. It can wait. Nonsense! She's a busy girl. Go ahead, Chloe. Do whatever you need to do. Balance, Chloe. Maintain balance. You freeze a pond over here, you have to boil a pond over there. No, that can't be right. Ugh, I've been at this for hours. Let's see what you have to say. Duncan Sunshine coming to you with a live report. And let me tell you, never a dull moment these days, weather watchers. We're getting reports all around the world that Mother Nature is not doing her part. I gotta tell you, friends, I've never seen so much extreme weather at one time. Just look over here, in the middle of the country, 
Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland? It's been downpouring for three days straight. The river has flooded. People have been Chloe, driven from their homes. School. I don't know what to make of all this. Balance, Chloe. Balance. Thanks for driving me to school, Daddy. You were quiet on the drive. Something bothering you, Ray? You spent all night with Zoo Girl's mother. I don't like this relationship. Ah, uh, I told you it's not a relationship. It's a means to an end. I was inside their house, Ray. Chloe was out early this morning. She had the book with her. The book of nature? And when I brought up all the extreme weather around the world, she ran out of the room lickety-split. I'll try to look for the book in her backpack today. Is there something else, Ray? I've been thinking. Mother Nature is a woman, right? Always has been, as far as I know. That's what I thought. It's going to be me. Excuse me? When we take Chloe's power, it's not going to you. It's going to me. I'm going to be Mother Nature. Uh, Ray... Whoa. What is that in the middle of the soccer field? Uh, Ray? Ray, we need to talk! Bye, Dad! Blessings, blessings. No Ray Sunshine today? Huh? Okay. We'll have to make do without her. Today we're going to talk about relationships. In what ways are you struggling with or celebrating relationships in your life? Remember, nothing in the circle leaves the circle. Chloe? Uh, that's okay. I'll pass. There is no passing, Chloe. Tell me about your parents. Do you get along with your mother? The parent-child relationship is a complicated one. Especially when you're not sure which one's the child. What do you mean by that? Is Chloe Lovejoy in here? Felix? Excuse me, young man, we're in the middle of class. I'm sorry, Ms. Shakti. Um, there's a protest going on right now, on the soccer field. Soccer field? What sort of protest? I guess you could say it's about a, a tree? Really? Class, this could be a wonderful learning experience. Follow me to the soccer field. Is this as bad as I think it is? Worse. Oh no! Oh yes! That's your tree! And that's Ray, who has tied herself to it. This is wrong! Who are you to destroy nature? Out of the way, miss. We got a job to do. Your job is killing the planet! I'm going to save the Earth! Who's with me? What is she doing? Save the Earth! Save the Earth! What else? Trying to get attention. This is your fault. Make me a tree, Chloe, right here in the middle of the soccer field. It's a nice tree. That's not helping. Ray could get hurt. And as much as she probably deserves it, I don't want that on my head. I just want it to be over. What are we going to do? Swallow my pride, I guess. Save the tree! Save nature! Hey there, Ray. What do you want, Zoo Girl? Listen, I'm all about saving the trees. I mean, nature is. Go nature, right? <laughs> are you making fun of my convictions? Because I have lots of people on my side. I'm going to save the Earth. So I've heard. But what's the plan here? You can't stay tied to the tree forever. Why do you care? Everything stinks because of you. Me? What did I do? Well, you and that mother of yours. You mean because my mom went on that date with your dad? So you're as unhappy about it as I am. Why are you unhappy? My dad is Duncan Sunshine and your mom Don't is a- Don't say it. She may not be mother of the year, but she's my mom. Doesn't matter anyway. Point is, neither of us wants this. Which means, we're sort of in this together. You want to work with me to keep them apart? Do I want to? No. But I'm glad to hear that for once we're on the same side. It's a really nice tree. Thanks. I mean, I know. Weird how it just sprouted up. Okay, chainsaw guys, you win this time, but this isn't over. 
I've got a lot more nature to save. Look at you all balanced. I'm working on it. More training after school? See you then. No, what's she doing? Mom, what's with the stuff by the curb? Here, carry this out for me. Uh, that's heavy. What are you doing? I'm cleaning out the place. We've got an open house for realtors tomorrow. But this is all of Grandma's stuff. Her clocks, her plants, her snow globes. Your grandmother was a hoarder, Chloe. Duncan says we need to have a clean presentation for potential buyers. Duncan says? I want you to help me do some hacking away in the garden later, too. What? No! No hacking! The thing is overgrown and dying at the same time. Nobody wants their backyard to look like a jungle. And I want people to see where a pool could go. How much stuff are you taking out? I've already gotten rid of about ten boxes. Weather vanes, old books... Books? Mom, you threw out books? They take up a lot of space in a house. Not to mention the space they took up in your grandmother's life. Did you take the book of... Grandma's science book? The thing was practically falling apart. It's in a box to be picked up for recycling. What? No! Chloe! Chloe, we have to make hard choices! No, 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 no! Where is it? Where's the book? That's the box I put it in. Right on top. No! The book of nature! It's gone! Thank you.